lot of Cambodians really don't like Hun Sen. The worst case scenario is that everybody's so frightened that they either don't go to the polls or they vote for Hun Sen and there is absolutely no change and people have to sit sort of a little bit frightened and waiting for something to happen, someone from the outside to do this thing, to either get rid of Hun Sen or to push the country towards democracy. Either way, it's going to be painful because, uh, but the best way is to have the Cambodians do it themselves at the ballot box. I mean, he has no, there's no history of him being a genocidal maniac, even when he was a member. The, the Cambodians really liked the election in 1993, which is supervised by the United Nations. And I have a suspicion that they're going to show their, their interest in democracy by voting in great numbers this time. <laughs> The opposition, some of the opposition are going to <clears throat> win sizable numbers of members of parliament and uh, Hun Sen will have to form a coalition and he won't be in uh, monolithic power. And over time, either he will learn democracy or I think the Cambodians will replace him at some point. There's another man named Sam Rainsy, whom a lot of people in Washington seem to like. Um, and he says he stands for true democracy and reform, like land reforms and so forth. Um, he's a bit slick, and he has some of the bad habits of traditional Cambodian politicians. Um, but he may be the best of the lot right now. You don't get to pick your heroes in these situations. It's important to continue development aid. Without it, the country just isn't grow out, going to grow out of this hell that they've been in for 30 years. And since the United States has some significant measure of responsibility for that hell, having uh, initiated in one sense the war in Cambodia and then having supported the Khmer Rouge afterward in the 80s for the sole purpose of keeping the Vietnamese out of power, it was sort of a Cold War policy. Um, we owe the Cambodians this continued development aid. Even though we have no great security interest or, or uh, economic interest. In <laughs>